For all its height and difficulty, the Anach Egech is well trampled. Thousands of people make their way along the narrow ridge every year. One 19th century guidebook reveals that local hunters were used to chasing foxes along the ridge and do not hesitate to perform this trying adventure burdened with both dog and gun. Glencoe from the east end of the Anach Egech. For hundreds of years, this part of Scotland was ruled over by the MacDonald Lords of the Isles, a regime that once challenged the power of the King of Scots. The Buch Isle Et of Moor, one of Scotland's best known mountains, it sits at the point where Glen Etiv runs into Glen Coe. The sheer rock face is at the northeast end of the mountain. From Rannach Moor, the Bucha looks like a solitary cone-shaped peak. In fact, it is a whale-backed hill that runs a long way southwest into Glen Etiv. One of the Buch Isle's first explorers was John Stuart Blackie, professor of Greek at Edinburgh University. In September 1867, he wrote, I mounted the steep, apparently unapproachable Buch Isle Etiv with grand success and very little fatigue. Professor Blackie's mountaineering enraged the local gentry. One wanted him prosecuted under the Scottish Trespass Act of 1865, which carried a fine of 20 shillings or 14 days in jail. Blackie, like most middle-class walkers and climbers of his day, ignored the law until it fell into total disuse. But access to the hills is still an issue in Scotland. the western flank of Bichiam Nambian from Ben Mool Hallam. The summit of Bichiam Nambian, this is the highest peak in Argyll. There is a cave amongst these peaks known as Ossian's Cave. It used to contain a metal box into which gentlemen climbers dropped their calling cards. The Beecham Nambian has three northern spurs, Anach Du, Giranach and Ben Fada. They are better known as the Three Sisters of Glencoe. There is an undeniable brooding quality about Glencoe that can be quite chilling. Somehow it seems a place for wicked deeds, although many sunnier and brighter parts of Scotland saw far worse butchery than the massacre in Glencoe. but that was more than 300 years ago. Nowadays, Glencoe is best known for offering some of the finest climbing in Scotland. And where there is climbing, there are invariably casualties.
The Glencoe Mountain Rescue Team is one of the busiest in Scotland, especially in winter. One of the team's most famous members is Hamish McInnes, a world-class mountaineer and often known as the Old Fox of Glencoe. Ben Nevis, a distant giant seen from afar. From high in these hills, one of Scotland's best mountain landscapes can truly be appreciated. Glencoe, one of the most memorable places in Britain, possesses an ethereal beauty all of its own. In Buchal et of Moor, it has a mountain that could easily be described as a true Scottish icon.